Hi, my name is Arun Purushottaman. I'm a DevOps engineer and enabler working in Twin Cities area. Like many of you are out there, I was also looking at new means to make the DevOps activities more efficient. Or in general, I was looking at how to leverage the newer technologies for uh, better automation. When I searched on YouTube for voice-driven DevOps or voice assistance and DevOps, I couldn't find any results. So I wanted to share some of the use cases I have recently implemented where you can incorporate voice assistance directly into your DevOps activities or in your delivery pipeline. This is my very first YouTube video on DevOps. In general, I want to continue to share more of these videos related to the interest I have. So primarily, I believe each one of you are creative. And what is that one thing creative minds needs is undistracted focus time. So I'll continue to share how you can avoid distraction and how you can avoid wasting time on things which doesn't matter the most. Hey Google, were you also a product of DevOps? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to cover all these in one video, so please subscribe for the other part. I'll continue to share. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first use case. The first use case is promotions on a release pipeline. This is how a basic release pipeline looks like. You've got Dev, QA, UAT, and Pro. I'm using Salesforce and AutoRabbit as the CICD automation tool for this particular example, but you would be able to apply to any other technology streams which uses a similar process. The idiom, devil is in the details, is so true in this case. So let me take a minute or two to walk you through this problem. So once the changes are committed and the developer have validated those changes in QA, the developer makes a manual decision to promote this to UAT where the business testers will be validating it. We do not want to have a continuous integration. We do not want to frustrate our business testers with changes which are not intended. From this point, once it is ready to move for UAT, how many manual steps and clicks are involved even in these advanced tools is one of the problem I'm trying to address. Now, looking at this picture, it always makes me curious. It's it's so short, there is not much distance between each of these environments and what's, <laughs> what is the real need for DevOps. If you see these are way, it could be quick and there is not much activities, but it is so good to be true. From a CIO standpoint, maybe this is a good view, but people who work close to this, a developer, an ops person or a DevOps engineer would directly know what's involved in this. So let me give you a little more insights to it. How much time do you think each of these steps would take? Each of them currently takes 15 minutes to two hours. Why? Let's zoom in and find out. So it has got a merge process and a CI process. Let's expand the merge. Within the merge, you have to select your source, target, revisions, come into your label, etc. So if you look at, you have to log into a DevOps tool. You have to navigate through your menu options to perform the merge. You would be selecting your source, destination, and then you have to select the revision. Now, if the tool is not showing you the details around the revision, all you're seeing is only the revision number, then you have to step into the next tool, which could be a VSDS Git repository to verify those. So once you have initiated this merge, then it's a waiting game. You're monitoring the logs to see if there are any conflicts. So once the merge is, merge is completed, you would wait to see if the CI process was initiated correct. One of the final step is to notify the requester with an email. You may also be stepping into your work management tools and updating your story. In summary, we have 15 manual steps or clicks involved including communication and promotion process. So merge and CI, does that sound familiar? So you might ask, what's the big deal? This is a common process. That's exactly is the problem I want to bring up. These 15 steps as part of merge is considered as part of our regular job and routine and it's a habit. So we don't consider it as a big deal and it's ignored. There are many of these traditional processes which we thought cannot be improved are possible to be improved using these new technologies. So in my case, this process is repeated for three environments, four times per two week sprint. And I have three active orgs. So it roughly come to around 216 hours per year. To put it in perspective, we are wasting more than a month every year if you are following the same process. I'll put the calculations in the details. So either it is dev or ops, it doesn't matter. A creative person is wasting four months every three years when you have an alternative automation option available, which is really bad. So the good news is we don't have to do it anymore. So what are the problems I'm talking about? You have your developer or an operations engineer 
focused on one idea and then one of the idea need to be shipped or a promotion have to be made and how deep is the distraction see how many list of tools they have to step into one important thing to note is all of these are very advanced tools even then you are still not away from a lot of clicks or manual steps service now git visual studio all of these are advanced tools auto rabbit and this is good enough for them to be distracted from their idea and then the time it takes for them to get back to that focus and concentration i think we have reached the limit on the web what we can do with the web the time it takes to load each of these options the time for the time it takes for your different logins to happen all of these are not accounted for but we run through these routines almost every day I believe that gave you an idea about the problem I was talking about. So now let's get into the demo. So I'll be using Salesforce for this demo. So what I'm going to do now is take those 15 clicks and make it happen with zero clicks. It's time to introduce my corporate center now. Hey Google, connect to my test app. All right, getting the test version of DevOps team. Good day from Lol DevOps Assistant. And you have a Visual Source page called Google Assistant. And this is the first idea from the business. I have my changes in Git, which is ready to be merged and promoted. Are you ready for the demo? As you've seen, the initial screen have shown the first idea from the business on the business page. We are expecting to see the second idea populated as we trigger the a new build and promotion through Google Assistant. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Hey Google, ask DevOps team to promote my changes. The build number 87 have been invoked. I will update you in five minutes on your email or team chat. All right, we have received the response that the, the build number 87 has been invoked. So let's go, I'm going to refresh the screen on the CI job results page. As expected, I can see the build number 87 has been invoked. So I'll wait to see the, both the build and the deployment to be completed and we'll validate the screen again. So only for the demo purpose, I'm monitoring these logs. Once this is reliable, I can always wait for the response through uh, Microsoft Teams chat. So when I look at the deployment details and status, I can see that the deployment is now in progress. I have received an email confirmation that the CA job is complete. So if I check my email, I can see that the CA job the 87 is complete. Let me refresh the Visual Force page once again to make sure that it's, it has the latest update. So once again, I'm looking at the, the Google Assistant URL. I'm refreshing that screen. Yoo-hoo! Woohoo! It's a success. I can see the second idea came in and it's promoted by Google Assistant. I've added some of the fancy jQuery to it. <laughs> so this concludes the demo. As promised, I was able to trigger and uh, in initiate a merge and a build using a trigger on Google Assistant. At the same time, this has leveraged uh, enough capabilities from OutRabbit also to fulfill this. So this is the overall solution I'm envisioning to work. The developer makes a request. So based on the unique user's voice profile, we'll be able to identify the user who made the request. Once we have identified the user, we will be able to identify what was the last activity made by the user. Looking at the, say for example, Git, looking at the Git repository branch. Once we have identified the branch, we will be able to identify which release pipeline the branch belongs to. So looking at the release pipeline, I can make out which is the next level in that release. The next two boxes are very straightforward, the green and red. If there is a failure, it will notify the operations team to make sure that any exceptions are handled. We anticipate only 20% of the time there could be a failure. And all of the times, if it is positive, it will notify both both the parties to make sure that everybody stays informed. Uh, this is another thing I want to do. Uh, I haven't tried enough to make it happen. If you look at any of the voice assistants, you you have to make a request for it to respond or for it to to speak. But then I want to I want the voice assistant to speak back instead of asking to to confirm each level of this promotion. Say for example, hey, um, I have completed the merge and the deployment is in progress. Or say the build is in progress um, and getting prepared for the deployment. So that'll be something fun I, I would like to see. And you have, we have one more friend in your workplace. Something which was much more complicated can be triggered uh, seamlessly and in a friendly manner. 
primarily they, they don't have to be distracted they don't have to step into many other tools 80% of the time so if you look at the trend many other many other tools like Microsoft Teams are adapting to a social chat like uh, WhatsApp from Facebook uh, where you can go to each of the contexts and give a thumbs up. Should you all switch to voice driven DevOps? No. No, absolutely no. That's not what I was trying to, to convey. My intent of this video was to inspire not just use voice, you can think of any other options like automated chatbots uh, or it could be a one click anywhere else. But try to simplify those routines which could save you time which can allow you to focus on things which matter the most what i wanted to share was when our team was following this routine of around 15 steps again all of these were on advanced technologies like even then it had this many manual steps to make so nobody was paying attention to it that approach made us think in this direction and we were able to find solutions using the new AI capabilities and different APIs where you are already seen the limitations of using the web where you have the loading delays and you have to make different selections um, you have to make different logins to different systems things like that to reduce all those distractions you directly tap into the power of rest API where you don't have those loading delays the next part of the videos we'll get to hey google make a change in itsm hey google create a task in vsts hey google who made the last change so the only message i have this solution took me almost two weeks of consistent concentration i'm sure that there are much more great minds out there and creative minds out there i look forward to see what you have built thank you